recording me now? Ready? All right. So what we're about to do here now is to show you cellular respiration again, but in a different way. We're not using the sensors anymore. We're only following CO2 now. So we're not, we don't have, this has nothing to do with, I, we, we know oxygen is being consumed, but we're not gonna be testing that. We're only testing CO2 production now. So we did an interesting setup here. We have three kinds of beans now, not just two. Remember, you guys just did the ungerminated versus germinated, am I right? We now have a third one. We have germinated beans, but they've been boiled for a half an hour. They literally put them in a pot, they boil them and boil them and boil them. That's a lot of heat. So what happened to the enzyme? Don't say die or killed. Denatured. They denatured. Very good. So the enzymes denatured. That means are they active or inactive or whatever? What is it? Inactive. They're inactive. So the interesting thing is this. These two, the enzymes are inactive. The ungerminated versus the boiled beans but they're inactive for two different reasons. The boiled ones inactivate enzyme because of the heat, the enzymes denatured. The ungerminated one is inactive, the enzymes are inactive because they're dehydrated, they don't have water. The enzymes are there, they're fully intact, ready to go, they just don't have the water. And that's what we did with this one. We took these, added water, and we got these. These are your germinated beans. So your prediction, your hypothesis, which of the three will have the trapped CO2 gas? Because we, we're trapping the gas. If you notice, we have a stopper here and a stopper here. And at the end of this glass rod, there's water trapping the gas. The gas is trapped inside the flask. My question is, which of the three will have trapped CO2 gas? It'll be this one. Sounds good? These two, there's nothing going on. So they won't have CO2. Okay, how are we gonna confirm that? Well, we're gonna change the water into something called phenol red. This is a pH indicator. So I'm gonna have you help me dump the water in the sink here and I'll trade with you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm just gonna replace the water with phenol red. So the interesting thing is this, um, this, this solution has phenol red, but it's mostly water. I mean, it's phenol red dissolved in water. So what happens is, and your book will tell you that, CO2 dissolved in water makes an acid. It is a chemical reaction that produces carbonic acid. Carbonic acid. So what will happen to the pH? Will it drop, stay the same, or go up? It will drop. The problem with my eyes and the problem with your eyes is you can't see that. I can't look at something and say, oh, that's an acid. I can't see that. So even if acid is not gonna be produced because of the CO2 bubbling into here, I'm not gonna be able to see that because my eyes are not sensitive to acid. I mean, they are, they can hurt, acid can hurt me, but I can't see it. That's what I meant. So we trick it. We have phenol red, a pH indicator. Oh, that turns colors, that changes a co into a color when it, when the solution becomes acidic. It's right now it's red, but when it becomes acidic, it's gonna change colors. What color is that? Blue. Purple. Purple. Changes mine. Black. Green. Clear. Green, tan, Blue, green, black, yellow. Why is it bubbling right now? Yeah, hang on, hang on. It's not going to bubble yet. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the color first. Orange, green, Orange. Tan, Oh. 
<laughs> you know what you guys are telling me? You're telling me you did not read the lab manual before you came in. It's in your lab manual. I do this every semester and I get the same answer. I get every color except yellow. yellow. It's yellow. It's because you guys are either not reading the lab manual or you're not reading it the right way. This is just my way of saying, you might want, yeah, that's first of all, but read it the right way too. Read it for retention. Read it for understanding. What are we doing today? Okay? It's yellow. But you know, you're not the first group who gave, gives, you guys give me all the colors except the one I want. Except the one that's in the book. I'm telling you, yellow, yellow. Okay, anyways. Yeah, maybe they should. But if you don't open the book, you still won't see it. Anyways. So I'm going to chase the gas out. It's called displacement. So I'm going to chase it out by adding water into the flask. The gas will displace and it will start bubbling. Because at the end of this, there's actually an opening at the end. So let's do the boring one. This is the ungerminated bean. I'm going to chase the gas out. So it's going to start bubbling now. Did it change? No, it's not going to change. Boring. All right. Let's go on to this one. This is the boiled one. Again, the enzymes are not working here because they're dehydrated. The enzymes are not working here because they're denatured. Good. Now, this depends whether it turns yellow or not. It depends on the lab staff, but these guys are pretty good. Yeah, it's not good. It's, they're denatured. Okay, the exciting one. Let's see. Again, what are you going to do when it turns yellow? Whoa. There you go. You remember. All right, let's do it. Don't fail me, please. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for participating. <laughs> there it is. That's how, that's as exciting as it's going to get. Lab manual. Let me steal your lab manual for a second there. All right, here's what we're going to do now. Um, page number 71, it says color. Germinated color, what is that? Yellow. yellow. And the other two are gonna be? Red. red. So say yellow, red, red. Yellow, red, red. And then underneath that it says, okay, what about the CO2? Well, the yellow one means that CO2 is present. present. Okay. That means the beans are doing what? No, no, the cellular respiration, yeah. All right, what about the ungerminated beans? What, what, CO2 is what? Not present, present. Uh, sorry, absent. What about the boiled ones? CO2 is? Absent, yeah, because these two are not cellular respiring, but the germinated beans are. Thank you, sir.